of what I'm going to cover during this presentation. I'll just give a brief overview of why mag meters are an ideal fit in, the con in concrete batching applications, how the meters function, its features, setup, approvals, ordering information, and sales resources that are currently available. So why mag meters? Well, mag meters have quickly become the meter of choice in the concrete batching in concrete batching applications. Uh, nowadays, when you think about water measurement, you think mag meters. And this is mainly due to the benefits a mag meter has over traditional mechanical meters. Mag meters have a high accuracy rate, like the M7600 is plus or minus 0.5 percent, and the re repeatability, which is plus or minus 0.1 percent. Mag meters are extremely durable and have low maintenance costs. This is due to the meters having no moving parts, where mechanical meters have different internal moving components, which wear over time, and there are a variety of effects that the wear can have on your overall results. Since there are no internal parts in a mag meter, there is nothing to obstruct the flow, and this results in minimum pressure loss. And just like to quickly discuss how a mag meter like the M7600 operates, um, it's based off flow velocity measurement. The meter has two opposing electrodes that are positioned internally at 3 and 9 o'clock. If you could see, it's the yellow on the screen, the yellow arrows. As the fluid moves through the magnetic field, a voltage is induced across the electrodes. The average velocity of the fluid is proportional to the induced voltage measured by the electrodes. So now I'd like to discuss about the M7600 and why we're excited about releasing this product. The M7600 is built off the robust design of the 7500P. The M7600 leverages the durability and precision accuracy of the 7500P, along with some advanced features inherited from the Mod Make family. As you can see in the picture to your right, one of the most notable, noticeable changes to the, in the M7600, it features a digital display. This display is sealed from the elements and enables the user to quickly and easily change the setup options if needed. To access the digital display, you just have to remove the top two screws from the amplifier and loosen both bottom screws. Then just pull down and the cover will rest in the open position. Once it's open, the user now has the ability to change the setup options on the meter itself. The user can change pulses per unit, flow unit, you'll be able to select gallons per minute, liters per minute, cubic feet per minute from quite a, quite a list. Also, the totalizer unit, again, there's a list you can select from, and scale factor. The digital display is very clear and easy to read. All the information is displayed in common terminology and recognized abbreviations. There are no complex codes, and the user will not need to page through a manual to comprehend the information. Here's just an up-close image of the display. As I mentioned earlier, the push button operation makes setup and navigation a breeze. Just for an example, if you want to access the programming options, you just press the Exit Save button on the bottom right. To scroll through the options, press the left button. And to edit your programmable options, you press the center button. For selection list options, like totalizer and flow units, just press the left button to change the value, right button to confirm. And for numerical options, like the scale factor, just press the left button to change the digit value, center button to move to the next number, and right button to confirm the new value. This is just an example of how clear and easy to re read the display is. I just recently took this photo at my desk from my phone. In this photo, the display is showing the shows the model of the unit, which is the 7600. To the right, the V1.0.18 is the version of the software, and below is the empty pipe error message. The M7600 is quick and easy to recalibrate due to its digital switches, which are comparable to what is found in today's electronics. The image on the left shows the rotary switches, which are on the 7500P model. On the 7500, once the new scale factor was determined, the user would manually change each switch setting. And you typically need a screwdriver or other small tool to adjust these settings. This can now be done on the M7600 with a few pushes of a button. As we all know, accuracy is important in flow measurement, especially so in concrete batching. The M7600 has an accuracy rate as stated in the data sheet of plus or minus 0.5% of rate for velocities greater than 1.64 feet per second, plus or minus 0 0.008 feet per second, less than 1.64 feet per second. 
after re after I read this over about a hundred times, I kind of realized that what this means is you take a three inch meter M7600 as an example. Data sheet states the flow range of this meter of 3.68 to 880 gallons per minute. So the accuracy will be within plus or minus 0.5 percent through this entire range. As another example on this three inch meter, if you're flowing 300 gallons per minute, with the accuracy of the plus or minus 0.5 percent, the reading will be within plus or minus 1.5 gallons per minute. If the velocity is under the 1.64 feet per second, this means the flow rate is lower than the 3.68 gallons per minute, the minimum rate stated on the data sheet, and will not fall into this accuracy range. Accuracy, accuracy of the meter is important, but in concrete batching applications, repeatability is just as, if not more important. Repeatability is a measure of how exactly two measurements repeat under the same exact conditions. The M7600 has a repeatability of plus or minus 0.1 percent. This means that once the flow rate is verified, every time you batch under the same conditions, your readings will be within the plus or minus 0.1 percent of their reading. And this slide just gives a simplified visual of accuracy and repeatability and why are both important in batching applications. And it's pretty self-explanatory. CTEP certification, our 7600P model, which has the CTEP, the California Type of Evaluation Program certification. Our M7600 currently complies to the NIST Handbook 44 standards for batching applications and is being submitted for NTEP, the National Type Evaluation Program approval. And CTEP is covered under this NTEP approval. Here are new part numbers for the M7600 and the cross-references cross from the 7500P. Uh, pricing on the M7600 meters are this, currently the same as the 7500P. For more detailed pricing information, you can contact our customer service department or you can log on to the Badger Meter Extranet. And here is a look at some of the sales re resources that are currently available. Um, we have our product data sheet. We have a YouTube video. If anybody would be interested, I can send you the link if you please email me. We have a price list and this overview, which will be available on the extranet, and the press release that came out on May 19th. So that's going to wrap it up for this presentation.